lots of you are asking me on LinkedIn and Reddit how I created this Apple looking cube in this render. So I made a tutorial for you. The project file is available on my Gumroad and link in the description. With Blender open, delete the camera and select the Add Cube Tool panel in the left and start adding bunch of random shapes on your default cube. You don't need to be precise, just add random shapes as you like and make sure you cover all the six sided of these cubes. After you are done with adding all the shapes, it will look like something this and just select all of them and go to select tool and deselect our light and hit ctrl j to join all of them together. So we have created the cube, uh, now is the texturing part. So let's open up this timeline and change this from timeline to shader editor. Let's have some more space for our shaders. Now go to material view and delete the principal VSDF. We will add a glass VSDF shader. Plug this into the output. And uh, as you can see, we get the glass on the cube. Now we will search for noise texture. And uh, we will add a color ramp as well for controlling the noise. So let's add the color ramp and plug factor into the factor and the color into the roughness. Now we can play with the scale make it about 7 and the details to 8 and roughness is 0.8 these are the value I am using you can check uh, now we will play with sliders to get the desired look we can just also increase the values uh, yeah. so what I am trying to do is creating a contrast between the roughness so oh, our glass will be reflective but have that nice little pinch of some rough areas in it and now uh, we will use a bump node to give it some height so plug it into the normal and i'm using image texture so let's add image texture this is i created with js placement uh, you can use anything from a free website uh, like texture.com or uh, polyhaven if you find but js placement is best as far as i know for creating this sci-fi looking techy effect as you can see on our cube so it is looking pretty interesting now and let's add a transparent shader and we will plug it with a mix shader so let's have a mix shader plug the transparent into the bottom socket and now uh, we can't see anything so let's switch to cycles and change device to gpu compute now go to render view so as you can see we are starting to get that look now uh, change word color to black and we will select the light and bring it down oh, where it is okay there it is so bring it down and put it behind our cube so we will see through it just behind from the front view let's quickly model some environment add a plane and bring up our cube on top now we will add new material go to material view just uh, a noise texture and a color ramp as before plugged into the roughness so just back into the background color into the roughness and we can't see anything so just change it to black and bring up metallic all the way and scale as you like and rough details about to 10 and roughness 0.8 and we'll just change slider and scale okay that's looking good we'll bring up our light and add another few and we will make this volumetric so just cover our scene and apply the scale Create a new material, delete this principal VSDF and add a volume scatter node. And we will putting the density about 0 0.01. Go to render view. And here you can see we are getting that transparent see-through look on our cube. Now we need to set up some more materials and proper lighting. Here you can see now. And just go to solid view and let's first make this volumetric change to bound so it will not obstruct our view okay good 
select our cube go to object set origin origin to geometry and shift s cursor to select it now we will add another cube this will be the boundary of the main cubes as you can see here so just align this cube with our original cubes main boundaries by sliding it and now yeah that's okay uh, just slide it more to the y-axis and that's it pretty much good now go to modify tab add a skin modifier because wireframe won't work on this so in edit mode control a to scale down all these edges uh, about this is right and now we will apply this modifier you can see we get this geometry now we will using a subdivision surface modifier change the viewport level to 2 and let's add another modifier it will be a displace modifier now uh, click new and go to settings and we will add the js placement image we already have in our scene and put a strength to 0.1 or 0 0.07 will be good let's go to render view and see so yeah we are getting that the result just need the red glow inside for that i'm adding a, another cube and let's just press forward slash to isolate it and create a new material we will mix emission and principle so let's add emission shader and control shift right click drag you need round angle for that and now change it to orange color and let's increase the strength about to 10 and i'll add a noise texture and a color ramp i map them on shift 10 and alt c so i don't have to search every time plug it into the factor and change the sliders so and make it black this is our glow and i'll just increase the emission part more make it interesting the interesting it is the interesting your glow will be on the main let's change it to more like red go to render view and select the okay looks more transparent just put this into the center of this so it won't look weird here uh, we can play with the slider on this i think yeah point one is good and i'll just uh, go to for moving all of them i just need to parent this uh, so we will select uh, inner cube the boundaries and the main cube control p to parent both of them to the main cube and now we can move them together so in the render view we just rotate it and see how it's looking from other sides i think we need to increase the scale of the inner cube so let's just select it and then scale it so that's pretty much it deleted this transparent and mix shader so once you make it it's all about the composition lighting and your scene placement so that's it let's just to add some metallic material to the edges as well so that's it that's how i created this effect and if you want more tutorial you can follow me on linkedin reddit or instagram and dm me or comment on any of my posts i'll recreate on your request thanks for watching